Hi YouTube friends, I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead and I'm here today to talk with you about essential oils and help using them to help you with deal with anxiety, depression, uh, things like this. It's we're going into winter time here. Uh, we're it's now we're heading into December. And these are the short days of the year, right? Our our days are super short. Here in northern Idaho, uh, we're lucky sometimes if we get six, seven hours of daylight a day. And that definitely has a um, an impact on our emotions. In fact, seasonal affective disorder is something that is um, some people really struggle with, and I happen to be one of those. So there's some things you can do for that. I wrote a blog post about all the things I do uh, to help my mood in the winter times, but these essential oils are also helpful at other times of the year for other people who experience different kinds of uh, depressive kinds of situations. So let's go ahead, we're gonna talk about five of my favorites here that I just love to use that help with mood. And then I'm going to actually throw in a little extra because <laughs> I think this one's wonderful too. Okay, so the first one of course is lavender. Lavender is so well known um, as a, a mood enhancer. It's calming, um, it's soothing, it helps uh, relieve anxiety based because of pain. Um, and there's, there's there are research studies to back this up. So you could, um, do some research or go to my website where I've got sources listed listed and everything, but it really is helpful for decreasing stress levels. So lavender is a very, very good one. Another great thing about lavender is it's not expensive. Uh, always buy your essential oils from a quality company. I did a video about how to choose uh, high quality essential oils without breaking the bank, <laughs> and it's very possible, but you definitely want to know what to look for in a company. But lavender is very, very good. Next up is ginger. Ginger is one that's really useful for nausea and things like this, but I really like it um, to help with anxiety or anxious feelings or depression um, because it's so helpful with stress. In fact, one clinical study showed, and this was an animal study, not on human beings, but you know, scientists will make assumptions based on animal studies, but one animal study showed that ginger was really helpful in protecting the brain from injury based on um, stressful events. Mm, very beautiful. <laughs> I love ginger. So ginger is another one I really like for helping with depression and things like that. The next one up is bergamot. And I love bergamot um, essential oil. It's a citrus. Uh, it is pho phototoxic. Just be aware of that. If you're going to use it on your skin, be sure you stay within the proper dilution ratios and you can find that on my website as well. Um, but bergamot is amazing at reducing anxiety. Um, one study done in 2013 on some patients who were going into outpatient surgery uh, showed specifically that bergamot was really helpful in those kinds of anxious situations. And I think that's wonderful because we know that we're going to be dealing with something stressful <laughs> and we're worried about it. Uh, that A study like that shows us that if we use bergamot and inhale it and enjoy it, it's really going to help our stress in that situation. I also think it could probably be useful for building confidence. But in terms of seasonal depression, I really like bergamot. Um, it uplifts and it calms at the same time, which is really stellar, I think. Uh, it's got chemicals in it that um, have been shown to lift your mood and make you happier. In fact, most of the citruses will do this. Lemon, mandarin, um, grapefruit, they all contain um, chemicals that help uplift your mood and just make you happier. Um, and then bergamot calms you at the same time. So it's a very powerful combination. And this is one of my favorites. Um, ah, and it's got a refreshing scent. I really, really like bergamot. Um, another thing I wanna mention is that depression is often related to stress. They are often intertwined with each other. So if you're dealing with a lot of stress and it's chronic, it can cause you to be depressed. 
Uh, it can cause you to be sad. It can cause you to have problems and issues. So there's that back and forth uh, negative synergy between stress and depression. And I just wanna say right here, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a mental health professional. I am an aromatherapist and an herbalist. So if you feel like you are really struggling, you definitely need to go see a doctor. There is a time and place to see a medical doctor. So these are these essential oils can just simply be very, very supportive of a sad or grief-stricken or stressful kind of a situation in your life. Or like me, I'm dealing with seasonal affective disorder and I feel down a lot in the winter. Your essential oils here can be really helpful. All right, let's go on to the next one <laughs> on that little aside. Ylang Ylang. Isn't that funny how you say that? Ylang Ylang. <laughs> I really like this essential oil. It's a floral. It's a very powerful floral and you don't need very much of it. Uh, a little goes a very, very long way. In fact, if you inhale too much, you might just find yourself getting a headache. But it boosts the mood, it lowers blood pressure, um, it helps reduce uh, sadness. It does all those things. It's really, really great. In fact, um, I did a video on my Calm Heart blend. It's what I use. I, I have I, uh, I deal with my own high blood pressure naturally, and it's one of my um, blends that I use on a daily basis to just help reduce anxiety and reduce my heart rate. <coughs> It helps bring down my blood pressure if I'm having, you know, a stressful time. But ylang ylang is one of the ingredients in that. And I just really like it as an overall uh, mood booster anyway. All right. And then we've got orange. Orange is uplifting. There is just uh, no doubt about it. If you smell the scent of orange, I mean, how can you just not be happy? It reminds you of a warm summer day. <laughs> but again, it's chemically speaking, there are chemicals in orange essential oil um, that boost the mood. And I really like that. Another thing I love about orange essential oil is it's got a little bit of a reputation as a um, helper for weight loss because it helps you um uh, lower your appetite or control your appetite. So it's a good one for that. Uh, all right, then we're down to the, the bonus. <laughs> the bonus essential oil is patchouli. Now, I know that many of you uh, may not like patchouli. Uh, some people say it smells like mushrooms, <laughs> uh, but I happen to love it. And patchouli definitely is one of those love-hate essential oils. Ah, but it definitely is calming and it's soothing. And I find that it's a wonderful synergist or um, addition to any of these other essential oils. Uh, it helps the it helps ground the scent and um, while also uh, helping to stimulate the actions of these. So I just really love using patchouli in these kinds of blends. Um, it's kind of like when we blend with herbs. You know, you always want your active herbs. You want a supporting herb, which is what patchouli would be in this case, and then you want a stimulating herb. And um, it's all the same, herbs, essential oils, the formulations are really fun to play around with if you know how to do this. And by the way, um, if you go to my video, how to formulate herbal teas, I do talk about the formulation triangle. So you can start thinking about how to formulate for yourself too. It's, it's really amazing and fun. Okay, so let's go ahead very quickly before I wrap this up. I'm going to talk about some of the ways you can enjoy these essential oils. So you can add them to oils, like this is jojoba oil, as a massage oil, or you can put them in a lotion base that's unscented, and which is lightweight, and it soaks right into your skin. Uh, you can, of course, diffuse your uh, essential oils. You can put them into an inhaler, which entails put soaking a cotton wick um, with the essential oil blend, and then putting them inside a little glass tube that has little holes on top. And you can carry this with you and enjoy it wherever you're at. Uh, roller bottle blends are really nice. Here's a, this is a clear roller bottle. You can get them in cobalt blue and amber, and I like them all. Uh, this one happens to have little, uh, uh, fluorite stones in it, so it's really fun. But there's a lot of different ways you can enjoy your essential oils to help if you're dealing with sadness or depression, uh, especially during these winter months. If you work in an office, 
have your diffuser next to you or you can get little personal diffusers or you can use your inhaler and take a blend and just let yourself enjoy the scent often throughout the day. Um, if you want, you can keep your inhaler right in your purse. Uh, if you're driving, what I like to do if I'm driving is drop a few drops of my blend on a cotton ball and put it in the vent. And that just diffuses the scent throughout your car. So it's very helpful. Um, now, I'm not saying that this is going to, you know, solve all your problems, but it's going to help. <laughs> so if you want to um, get my favorite fall diffuser blends, I'll put a link below where you can pick this up. These are really nice for these cooler days. I'm getting ready to make another one for winter scents. So be on the lookout for that. And um, I hope you enjoy this uh, little video on essential oils for depression. All right, I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.